Dear friends and colleagues, it is a great pleasure to be here with you today. Today's forum, a satellite event of the pre-COP26 on climate change, will discuss a strategic theme, the Agenda 2030 and climate action, the role of ECU museums and community museums. Since 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has jeopardized the lives of millions of people around the world. I wish to take this opportunity to commend once more the work of all museum professionals who have guaranteed their public service and mission under the most exceptional circumstances. The pandemic is still a priority. Nonetheless, the devastating effects of the climate crisis continue to impact our natural and cultural heritage at a global level. The dramatic biodiversity loss and the climate crisis show us how tight relations between man, biosphere and geosphere are. The cultures of the world, the cultures of the Anthropocene are suffering because landscape, natural sources and livability are endangered. Indigenous communities are at the forefront of the climate crisis. Not only are their livelihoods under threat, also their cultural heritage cannot survive without their natural habitats. Even native languages are in constant decline as a result of the climate crisis. Fighting the climate crisis and the loss of biodiversity is an imperative of our times. Museums, eco-museums and all cultural institutions are essential to ensure a sustainable future. They play a key role not only in fostering knowledge, awareness and behavior changes, but also in sustaining mitigation strategies. Museums and eco-museums are in a unique position to support environmental policies, disseminate scientific information and sustainable practices in the local communities. In September 2019, the International Council of Museums General Assembly in Kyoto, Japan, passed the resolution on sustainability and the implementation of Agenda 2030, transforming our world. The 2030 Agenda has become the fundamental reference for ICOM's work over the next decade and beyond. On Earth Day 2021, ICOM joined the Global Coalition United for Biodiversity. Let me now heartily thank the ICOM's Working Group on Sustainability that supports our organization in implementing the Kyoto Resolution. I am glad to see that today some members of our working group like Michaela Rota and Harry McGee will give their contribution to the debate. ICOM sustains museums all over the world so that they integrate the attainment of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the fight against the climate crisis in their mission and vision. ICOM supports all the initiatives promoting awareness about the climate crisis, as well as sustainable behavior, responsibility, and civic participation in all communities. The first G20 Culture Ministers meeting was held in Rome at the end of July 2021. It focused on the importance of culture and cultural institutions for the sustainable world. ICOM was one 
of the two non-governmental organizations invited to the summit. We were an active partner throughout the preparatory work. I am proud to say that the museum's voice was heard throughout the meeting. All the events were held in museums. An Italian museum director, an ICO member, made one of the opening speeches at the Colosseum, and I presented a keynote speech on addressing the climate crisis through culture. In the final declaration, the G20 countries recognized ICOM as an important actor of international cultural action and highlighted the indispensable role of museums in heritage protection, sustainable development, and education. Dear friends and colleagues, global challenges call for global responses. International cooperation is needed now more than ever. It's time that together we take bold steps to ensure that culture and museums fulfill their role in addressing climate change and contributing to climate action. ICOM fully supports your proposal to create an Eco Museums and Community Museums coalition after the COP26. ICOM calls museums and eco museums to face the challenge and lead the change. Now is the time for new responsibilities, the time for unity and cooperation. As uh, ICOM founding fathers stated in 1946, only together will we be able to move forward. Thanks for your attention.